genie program that came that was used in uh, the Idiot Proof Guide to playing custom songs. And we just gotta wait a minute. Execute that. this little program. So we want to click on this little thing and then find that IML file that you just saved using that DVD generator. Mine's right here. gh.iml. Open. Click start and it will build an ISO for you. This can take a while. Anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. So I'm just going to cut away. Okay, when that's done, you know, the tool will say it's done. Close it. And you should see an ISO labeled whatever you call your IML file. In which case it's right here. Now all you have to do is burn that to a disk or put it on your hard drive. Alright, so now we've made the ISO of Guitar Hero. Now we just gotta put it into a format that the PlayStation will be able to read. For most people, that will involve burning that ISO onto a DVD. But for me, I'm a bit trickier than that. I put it on my hard drive in my PlayStation. That way, if I screwed up anything, I didn't waste the DVD. So, I'm now gonna use WinHip to put that on my PlayStation. <laughs> Select my PlayStation hard drive right there. And you can see all the games I've backed up on my hard drive. So I click Add Image, Image File, Add Image, find that little Guitar Hero right there, click Start. It'll ask me what I want to name it. So I will type in Guitar Hero Custom. Leave that SLUS file. Click OK. And within a matter of minutes, it'll transfer to my hard drive. And I'll be playing Guitar Hero shredding like mad. Okay guys, we got Guitar Hero mounted on my hard drive, got my guitar, let's play Master Puppets. Just give her a sec. Go down, find the custom Guitar Hero song I just made, select it. Once you see that red Octane logo, you know you've done it right. If all you see is a blank screen, that means you messed up your ISO, you have to redo it. This is why I like a hard drive, because if I f screw this up, I can just overwrite it. Whereas, if people burn it, they have to burn a whole other DVD. 
so we'll just go to quick play and find hangar 18 which is what we overrode master puppets with if you can hear it in the preview that generally means a good thing we want expert because that's where our guitar track is let that load and we should be able to play master puppets As you can see, I can't play guitar one-handed while holding my webcam, so I'm going to end up failing that. But you guys can see, that's how you play Master of Puppets. Now, I know some of you guys are getting curious, and you're thinking, well, what happens if I select a difficulty other than Expert? Well, because there's no guitar track for this, sometimes it'll freeze up on the loading screen. Other times, it'll play through with no notes which is what is going to happen right now. We'll get a five note at the start, and then nothing afterwards. So there you have it. That's how you play custom Guitar Hero songs in Guitar Hero 2. I'd like to thank Foxy27 for getting me into this. Without him, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd like to thank Saddle, Goliath, I and I'm a carrot. You guys are amazing. You guys are what keep my group alive. And I'd like to thank uh, Riff. Without him, none of us would know how to do this stuff. He started doing this back in Guitar Hero 1. You're God, man. Even if you won't join my group. Thanks. Hope this helped you guys.